Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, and I'm very excited to say that we have officially finally left America. While Lufthansa did lose one of our luggage bags, we were able to get it back fairly quickly, which was good, because I was pretty mad, not gonna lie. We made it to Poland as our first stop in our international journey. Pigeons are a little rough here. They're trying to have a piece of salami crumb. <laughs> Literally not a skipping watch. I'm gonna walk up to them and then I'm gonna fly away. <laughs> <laughs> I just punched him. I didn't fly away at all. He's like, nah, I'm good. I need to find pepperoni. In her native land. Yep. There she is, ladies and gents. I grew in the land. Beauty and grace. Thanks, Mike. In Poland, there are over 10,000 churches, and this is just one of them that we got to explore in Kraków. While we were there, they were doing some very manual restoration work, which I thought was pretty cool. Check it out. Afterwards, we headed over to Główny Rynek, which is a big square in Old Town Kraków. It is a square that is surrounded by palaces and churches. There's also a market where you could find all kinds of knickknacks and souvenirs to take home as well. A short walk away, we walked over to the Mały Rynek, which is a smaller market square. There was a street festival that was going on while we were there, so we decided to check it out. Nick got some mulled wine and wanted to try to flex some of his Polish that he's been learning recently. Co? Że jest mold wine. Po polsku. Że jest mold wine. No chodź się mold wine po polsku. Mold wine, a? No. Mold wino? Wino. Wino mold? Grzane. Wino żane? Grzane. Okay. Grzane. Yeah. Że jest wino grzane. Tak. One of the great things about Krakow is its history. We explored a bit of the castle that was there, and I got to see a fire-breathing dragon, which was pretty cool too. One of my cousins was getting married while we were here, and it was Nick's first time at a Polish wedding. Here's him trying some new things. What is Polish that? meat jello. Polish name is. I don't freak it. Well, you actually don't know the Polish. I'm not going to make it. Salary. Salary. Oh, no. This is so bad. If you eat the whole thing, I'll give you $20. Very great. No. 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 No, definitely not. Oh, God. It's better with the lemon. I'll pay you $20 to so never have to eat that. <laughs> no. Do you want some lemon? Olivia said it's better with lemon. Do you want me to squeeze a little lemon no. on there for you? No, that's, no. That's what you do to soup. That's, that's literally what you do. To soup. Well, so what this is, she said it's like rosu, which is like that like soup you ate earlier, it's like but soup with jelly it's like Jello mix, form, yeah. And it's still. That makes me want to never eat meat again. Period. <laughs> I want to become a vegetarian because of that. Because people create that thing. 
<laughs> and this is what Nick looked like towards the end of the night. There it is. There's your toe. No, it has to be presentable. I have to be presentable. I am a modern gentleman. <laughs> my wife, Hannah Gurgle, Nestrovia. <laughs> this is water. The bed, kid. Yeah, I have to go to bed. You what? I have to go to bed. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Why do you say that? Why do I have to go to bed? Yeah. It's not f***ing lit, dude. Yeah. What was that? I just worked. What do you want, man? You can't all sit here. It's gonna... Oh, it's not mine. Say goodnight, Nick. In Polish, please. The Brahms. Nick. Absolutely not my finest moment. <laughs> a part of my family is from a small town called Vilichka, which is a short bus ride outside of Krakow. Within Vilichka, the main thing that the village is known for is the Kopania Sori, also known in English as the Vilichka Salt Mines. We went on a guided tour that cost about 20 euros, and it was a great way to spend the afternoon. The first stop on the tour, we had to walk 30 floors down a bunch of stairs into the salt mines, and it was well worth it. That's a lot of stairs. Nick's going to lick the wall in the church. Salty. It's very salty. Did you like it? Yeah. 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 It's disgusting. So everything is made out of salt, like even like these stands and everything. This is insane. Like even the chandeliers. This is insane. And we're like 400 feet underground. The heck? <laughs> she said they still have, they still have services in here. Yeah, every week. And every, every week. Every Sunday, there's a mass here. Imagine that trip to church. Well, and then she was even saying like concerts and stuff happen down here. I know that there's even like a New Year's party that happens, not like in this church, but like here, underground. It's all salt. It's not rock. How's your first time in the salt mine going, babe? This place is insane. I'm, uh, and I'm not saying that because I'm, you know, being an ass or anything. Like, I'm genuinely impressed with the tour, and this place is massive. I've been here several times, like, as a kid and as a young adult. It's nice to see that, like, you're super excited about right. it as, like, an adult. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, like, I've been here before. Like, no big deal. And Nick's like, holy sh this place is crazy. Well, when they started, they're like, the tour is going to be approximately three hours. I was like, oh, this might be pretty boring, like, three hours of mines. It's crazy. Like, highly, mm -hmm. highly recommend. And then do you remember, like, the tour guide said that the part that's only open to the public is, like, one One percent. So, one like, percent of this place is what we're exploring to. That's absurd. I can't even, I can't even fathom that. That's where your salt comes from. Yeah. We finished our tour at the Copagno Soli in Vilichka. How do you feel? How was it? I think I said this is crazy or this is wild or this is insane probably about a hundred times on this tour because it truly is. The sheer size of the rooms, the, the, the salt, everything everything is made of salt. Everything. Like, everything is made of salt. It looks like it's wood. just like concrete or like stone but it's all salt which is the like crazy everything part. you see like that's behind salt. us that's salt that's all salt. salt carp salt all of it is salt i could go over there and lick this wall right now and it would taste salty do you want to lick the wall for them the no. last time no one more no lick. no one more lick right, fine. that's salty 
So yeah. Also totally allowed to do that, by the way. They we're definitely encourage, they encourage you to lick, lick the, the walls. Yeah. Anyways, uh, no, we had a great time. I learned quite a bit. And yeah, I would highly encourage you to come to this place. A couple, a couple tips. If you are coming here, wear a jacket and pants. It gets very cold. It gets freezing cold down here. Did not expect to need that. Buy your tickets in advance. And like, wear comfortable shoes because you're going to be walking shoes, yeah. a lot. We had a walk downstairs to get here and it was, we walked down, was it 380 steps of stairs? But the good thing is you only have to walk down the stairs. You can take the elevator back up, which is what we're about to which do. Is what we're about to. But thank you so much for following our adventure today and also being a part of my small hometown where my family is from in Poland. We hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, do all of that jazz. We'll post some links to the tours and uh, the guides as well in the description below. But um, yeah, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.